Okay, class! Who can tell me what these objects have in common? Ooh, may I please? Miss Susan? These are all stationary! Yes, but still that's not what I was asking about! I repeat, what unites all these objects? Anybody else? Ugh, all right, Miss Susan! These are school supplies! Uh-huh, close! What else? <gasps> Crafts! And also our channel! Bingo! Would you care to show us exactly how this happens? With great pleasure! Follow me! Hi, everyone! Today we're gonna show you the magic of easy paper crafting! And I am ready to evaluate your work, Miss Susan! Where do we start? Well, you know I like to write notes on little pieces of paper. But I often lose them, so I thought a cute little organizer might come in handy to keep everything in one place. And it should definitely have a really up-to-date shape, if you know what I mean. Sounds interesting! I'll give you extra points for the practical usefulness of the craft. And you guys are free to give a thumbs up to this video! By the way, we're making this organizer from really thick cardboard to make sure it serves us longer. Right, let's see. Now, let's deal with its filling. There we go! By the way, Susan, I really like your choice of colors! You're so giving a point for this! <laughs> Thanks, Sammy! Now let's carefully cut out this shape. Easy to make? Check! You know I must say this craft is a real candidate for an A! Wait, really? I mean, thanks for your high praise, Sammy, but, um… What? There can be no buts! The teacher's job is not only to evaluate their students' work, they also guide, explain, set an example… All right, all right, I got it! If you wanted me to help, you could just ask! Ugh. Thanks, but I was rather thinking you would come up with a simple paper craft yourself. I really like this piece that you've made, by the way. Ooh, great! I should probably deduct some points from you for my help. Hey! Sorry, Professor, but we have a perfect place for your pin right here. A few decorative elements will make this organizer look more like an iPhone. Don't forget about the brand resemblance with the reference, Sue! <laughs> Oh, that's right! And voila! The first paper craft is done! Wanna see more, guys? Stay tuned! Okay, Susie! Professor Sam is ready to teach you one very simple paper craft! Well then, I'm all ears! Okay! So fold each half of this paper sheet in half to the outside! Is that clear? Got it! It's like origami! By the way, guys, we made a video about that technique. You can find it on our channel. Right! Now flip this paper piece and make one more fold on the right half of it. Alright, I think I got this one too. Here we go. So I'm folding this half this way. And I guess I'm done. But… Wait, Sammy, what exactly are we making here? This is going to be a paper wallet for real cash! Well, in that case, we'd better secure it properly from both sides. Like this. Yup, perfect! For the next step, we'll need the double-sided duct tape once again! There you go! Perfect! We've got two pockets to store the cards and the bills! Awesome! Now it's time for decorations! And that's where your imagination steps in! Um, Sue? Sue? Shiver me chatters! What are you doing, Susan? Well, that's where my imagination took me. Don't you like it? Well, that doesn't look bad. But I thought I was in charge of the decor. Oops, I'm really sorry. Um, well, go ahead, Sammy. what I call unicorn magic! <laughs> you know, guys, I kind of feel awkward that I deprived Sam of the decoration process a bit. Let's cheer him up with a fidget toy! Here we have a slime inside the balloon! Now let's draw out a cute little face using a couple of permanent markers! Ooh. 
guys, did you already guess that this is gonna be a cute little avocado? <laughs> Aw, Sue, are you making this little cutie for me? There should be more pink on her then. Ugh, all right. <laughs> then pink it is. Cool, and we're ready to move on. Guys, I wanna mess with Sammy a bit. <laughs> hey, Sammy, what's the date today? I don't know, Sue, I don't have my... Wait a second, was that a hint about our next craft? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make a table calendar. And a bunch of cute animals on it will indicate the month, the date, and the day of the week. Oh my feta! That sounds really cool! Guys, quick, give us a thumbs up if you agree! Now two little ears and a tiny bow. What do you say? I say, she needs a couple of cool friends not to feel lonely. I'll be right back. In the meantime, we need to glue these little paper strips to the back side of our character. Don't use too much glue, guys. Everything should look neat. Are you done, Susie? Check out what I've made! Wow! Sammy! You did a great job! Now we have all three windows for our calendar. Sweet! But it should be able to stand on the table, right? Watch this! Don't forget to secure the stand as well, guys. You see? Like this. Okay, let's check. Perfect fit! Now let's fill them all! Whoosh! And here's the rest! Cool! We can store the cards right here in this back pocket that I made beforehand! Simple? Yes! Genius? Definitely! <laughs> hey, my shy, slimy friend! How about a new ruler? Honestly, Sue? A ruler from paper? Hey! Ugh, Sue! But it will be very sparkly and with floating glitter! Guys, you are free to use glitter of any shape and color that you like! Woo! Now we'll need a mixture of water… and coloring. Let's use a syringe to pour this colored oily liquid into the glitter! Oh, I love this color! Be careful! And try not to paint your fingers, boys and girls! Yeah, that's right! Okay, there we go! Wonderful! Guys, feel free to ask an adult to help you close this side really well. All we have left to do is attach a piece of paper with a ruler scale to it and it's done! Shiver me cheddars if that was not the simplest craft today! Want something more complicated? You bet! Guys, for the next craft we'll need a piece of paper. 20 by 20 centimeters folded like this. We'll make another organizer, but for pencils this time. Now let's deal with the corners. This way. Wait, wait, Sue! Is that pure origami this time? Well, I'm a master in that! Not exactly, but I could use your paper folding skills. I need two more paper pieces folded like this one. And here comes the first one! Pure perfection! You did great, Master Sam! And this is why this craft is not quite an origami. We're going to glue these two pieces… this way. Perfect! Yeah, there is no place for glue in Japanese paper art! That's right! We'll glue these sides the same way to get a kind of box. Carefully, let's press it a little. All right! There! Great! And now we'll attach the third piece to it. Perfect! Shouldn't there be a bottom part? You're right, Sammy! But let's speed up a bit! All right, and we'll glue it in its place. Awesome! Press it well to make the construction sturdy. The decor part is mine this time! Unicorn power! Well done, Sammy! And voila! Okay, guys, it's been really fun today. No, no, Sue! We have more paper left! Just one more craft! Pretty, please! <laughs> all right, but you better really help me with all the pieces. Crafter Sam is at your service, ma'am! <laughs> Guys, this time we'll be using really thick colored paper. And this piece goes right here. Shouldn't we tell the guys exactly what this is gonna be? What do you think? Oh, you're right, Sammy! This will be a pencil case. You can store markers in it this way. Whoosh! Awesome, right? By the way, this part of the case should be able to stand. Kind of like this. So… 
We need to glue this tiny piece right over here. Great! Guys, the other half of the pencil case will be slightly different. Man, she does that fast! Let's add decorations to the inner part of the case. Fabulous! Do you like it as much as I do, guys? Whoa! Sammy! <laughs> when did you do that? I'm fast as Flash! <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Here's a closing strap as a final touch. Perfect! Well, guys, are you ready to count all the crafts we made today? I hope you like